anything to do with a woman who we aren't sure yet, right, if mm -hmm. she is from the United States and was a visitor uh, in Saudi Arabia or if she we do know she lives there. We just don't know for how long. Right. We well, don't know the specific okay. details. One report about, said she lives yeah, there. One report. Her nationality. If she's just living there, she's an expat. Not really sure. But a woman in Saudi Arabia was arrested because she was walking around and Snapchatted her walking around interactions with a skirt on and a crop top. Now, if you're unfamiliar with uh, different cultures and backgrounds in Saudi Arabia, it is tradition and standard for women to be covered up. Eyes, you can have your eyes showing, but that is culturally um, the basis of, of dress for uh, women in Saudi Arabia. But again, we're not sure where the woman was from, if she is of Saudi Arabian descent or if she is from out of town, but it caused a lot of backlash. And like I said, she was arrested. And now we're about to talk about it, but we're trying to get into the details just like you, because when you have a discussion around something like this, a lot we were over here talking at the desks when we were picking the topic and we went in so many di different directions mm -hmm. with this is she from the area was she trying to make a statement as a woman of saudi arabian descent saying i'm not for being completely covered. suppressed i'm suppressed and i want to push the envelope forward was she an out-of-towner who just didn't know the rules mm -hmm. or the culture was she was she trolling you know so yeah yeah was she trying to get and go viral which she has right. now right right Go ahead, Dina. I was going to say, just for a little background on Saudi Arabia, too, okay. so that you know kind of why women are right. so dressed the way they are. Um, it does have some of the world's strictest laws for women. In addition to restrictions on dress code, adult women also need to have the permission of a male guardian to do things like work or travel. They are prohibited from getting a driver's license, and that means that they cannot drive as a result of that. Mm -hmm. So this is a this is a country where women are suppressed. Just putting it out there, we know that as a fact. And so for women to be completely covered up, this is in many cases all they've ever known. So from our perspective, it might look like, gosh, we're in 2017 and this still exists. But from their perspective, this is their normal. This is their culturally mm -hmm. accepted normal. And I think when we figure out who this woman was and like Cornelia was saying was she an out of towner who just didn't know and then at that point you think okay well then that brings up the idea that there that there's maybe this lack of education mm -hmm. before we we want to travel I think it's so popular now more so than ever at least in my circle of friends um, when we are now marrying at a later age than the generation before us we're having children at a later age I mean we can all attest to that this idea of wanting to travel the world mm -hmm. in this world of Pinterest and Facebook where everyone's trying to keep up with the Joneses and go to this country or this little uh, water hole that no one's been to before. You know, that is an awesome, amazing thing. Mm -hmm. and, and we all encourage that, right? Go travel the world. But you also have to respect and, and understand at least. I guess you don't have to respect, but you have to understand the territory in which you're going into and then say, if I don't want to be arrested, then I can't do these things. But then right. if you're on the, the side of, well, I want to travel the world and try to make some changes. I'm here standing up for the women of Saudi Arabia who maybe can't stand up for themselves. So I'm mm -hmm. going to go flaunt myself because I have the freedom to do that. But then she gets arrested. She was let go, correct? She was. Mm -hmm. Okay, which I was kind of surprised at that. Mm -hmm. Like right. she's lucky to have been released because yeah. this could have turned out a very different way. I don't know what was said, what was done. My thing is, I, I, res I would respect, uh, originally when I first heard the story, I would respect someone who was out of town trying to go in and say, you know what, this ain't cool. I'm going to go around and, and maybe showcase what women can do, at least in, in our country. But then there's that side of, but you have to respect the rules. And is it our responsibility to go in and try to tell other countries and if other you're cultures not what is right and wrong because right. it's right to us but it isn't right to them and i was looking at more statistics and i saw that i think 63 percent of people in saudi arabia believe women should wear men a women? full cover it just says 63 percent it okay. doesn't say i think it's both men and women um, that they should cover their face at all times except their eyes only three percent thought that women not covering their hair were dressed appropriately so the Who's who's is right. it is it even our territory to get into? Yeah, it's I, again like Dina said, I, and I, I brought up this point when we were just sitting around there. I said when pilgrims, and I'm just going to use the word pilgrims just for the sake of the conversation. Mm -hmm. When pilgrims arrived in, in the Americas, they considered Native Americans their culture, their tradition, the way they dressed. They considered them savages. Mm -hmm. However. 
nobody took a step back to say maybe the Native Americans thought you were savages mm-hmm. in your culture and the way you dress. You showed up with the wigs on, you know, they, in the in 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 the different style of dress. Maybe they thought you were the savages. So again, if she is not of Saudi and Saudi Arabian descent. For her to knowingly do that mm-hmm. without stating her purpose right. and without saying, I stand with you, it comes off a little uh, privileged mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. a little naive. Now, mm-hmm. and it was a historic fort she was in. So if she if she's familiar with that area, she knew exactly Again, where she was. Yeah. Going and educating yourself before you hit these yeah. spots. It's not just for the gram. Don't just go there and take the video or the pic for the gram. Like know the history of it yeah and you guys know i'm all for pushing the envelope and standing Absolutely. up for what, what you believe in but you have but you need to make it clear that that is what you're doing and why you're doing it instead of just putting a snapchat video up of you you know walking around with a with a skirt on and a crop top and leaving us to figure out what, what you were trying to was. to get with with doing that so mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm interested to see if we yeah. will hear more from her or yeah. somebody about it that was like my cousins recently uh visited the vatican and part of the the rules before you enter is that your shoulders have to be covered mm-hmm. so to them it was like well, what's the big deal you know and it's like well you have to respect it because Catholic religion that is just what they want I me mean, when you're going and getting married in the in the cathedral in the Catholic Church you have to wear certain uh, coverings over your over your body parts and again right. that's just respecting a religion mm-hmm. um, uh, the same cousins we've had a lot of conversations recently about about these sort of topics and my cousin is dating this guy she's on a family vacation right now and she's hanging out with these new grandparents not new to the, the boyfriend but new to her and she's like Megan you're a feminist like does this bother you and i'm like what and she's like i have to call said boyfriends not have to but i according to their family culture i call the grandma and grandpa grandma and grandpa the uh, first male's name. name so say caesar my husband caesar say he was a grandfather our grandkids would say grandma caesar calling me grandma caesar and grandpa caesar and i'm like well does grandma have a name And she's like, well, yeah, but that's just what they do in their culture. And I'm here going, well, ask her what her name is. And if she wants to be called by her name, like maybe no one's ever asked her before. Mm -hmm. To me, it was like, as a woman, you can step in and try to change that if that's what the woman wants. But if her whole life she's owned it and it's like, no, I'm Grandma Grandma Caesar, Caesar. then then do you cross the line? Well, and then as as a newcomer in the family, do you want to be that Even if the grandma wants to be called that, do you go against what everybody else in the family is calling her? Well, it depends know. on respect, cause like, mm-hmm. cause with me, if respect I meet an older woman and she is um, not my age, but maybe like my aunt's or my mom's age, I automatically call her Miss So and So, Mister So and So. If it's a guy, Mister So and So. And I learned this back in, in back in the day at church. My mom used to count the money at church in the back room, and there was um there was a woman, and I forget her name, but I called her her name. Let's say it was Joyce. I said, hi, Joyce. And then my mm. mom pulled me to the side and was like, you don't know. You call her Miss Joyce. Yes. That's not, that is not mm. your friend. You respect your elders. She is grown, and she is a grown woman, and you can't refer to her as Joyce. So to me, it's mm-hmm. sometimes about a respect thing. Yeah, yeah. You got to put that Miss or Mr. on her, not saying everybody should do that. That's right, just but a I cultural heard. thing, yeah. whether you agree with it or not, mm-hmm. you know you do it. Yeah. So I want to bring in some of your comments. Uh, Christian Cavallo, thanks again for weighing in. You're Christian. always one of our best viewers, by Shout the way. Out we, have to, we have to give you a fan gift. Uh-huh. Um, Christian said, when Saudi Arabia is able to make their own cultural shift, only then should Westerners probe. Assuming she's a Westerner. Yes. While I disagree how Saudi Arabia oppresses their women, it is not my place to tell okay. them to change their culture. Okay. I feel I feel the same way as you, Christian. And then uh, Catherine Hewitt, hello mm-hmm. to you. Catherine says, I think that you should respect the culture of any country you visit. Don't visit a country if you don't want to respect it, even if you don't agree with it. Mm -hmm. That is so true. If Mm -hmm. you are going to take yourself and plant yourself in another place, Mm -hmm. it is your responsibility to, as Megan said earlier, understand what the cultural acceptances are and what the normalness is. Because for you to go in there and think, as you mentioned, privileged, if you think, well, I can do this in my country, I should be able to do it in yours, that will be seen very disrespectfully by other people, I think. And so it's our responsibility, especially as Americans who, you know, do have so many liberties, fortunately, in this country, not every country runs that way. Not mm-hmm. every ship is yeah. going that same direction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally so. agree. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. All right, well, we'll get down to uh, to the nitty-gritty here and see yeah. who this woman is. Right. Um, 
and if she even is a Westerner, maybe she is trying to stand up for the women of her culture. And if so, and that was her point, and she did it with just a video and no words, hey, it's loud enough that we're talking about it here on this little show called Extra Shot. Yeah. So I'm interested to see where this goes. Okay.